Hey guys, so I didn't expect to be doing another podcast video. Well, podcast video, well, you get it. So this was basically, we were in class. It was one period before I had to go to AP Stats. And I, we, I had a quiz and desperately did not want to study for it. So instead, we did this. Now, about halfway through... Uh, one of the people in the podcast leaves and is replaced by someone else. And this other person told me to edit out their voice. So what I've decided to do is I'm just going to redub their voice with my own. When uh, And when that happens, a message will appear on screen saying so. So you may want to keep track of the screen. And yeah, also trigger warning because... They talked about some weird stuff, like not the person who I had to read up, but the other people. Just be prepared for, to hear about some sensitive topics. Okay, have fun. Hey, so what are we talking about? <laughs> we're gonna Why talk did about. You just to me? We're gonna talk about how I should be doing my AP Stats Unit Six yeah. quiz review for next period, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> I finished a quiz this morning in, um, like for math, and when I tell you, I literally had to give me the answers because I kept asking questions upon questions upon questions because I had no clue what to do, and I literally spent, like, up to the very last minute <laughs> of the period because what? I was literally entirely slow. What are you guys unit in math right now? Seven. No, like, what's it, what is it about? Oh, we just finished seven. But um, this last one was uh, summon difference identities, half identities, half angle identities, stuff, stuff, something like that. that sounds made up. Yeah, it what is. What class are you in? Um, advanced math. Advanced math? Yeah, advanced it, math. It's like pre-calc, sort of, basically. Yeah. Why are there so many math classes? There's, I don't understand. I don't understand why he, why they didn't just take the math class, like the math class we're in, and put us in stats. Because everyone put in to take the AP stats, mm -hmm. because that's what almost all of our careers or anything like that want to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know what they did? No. The only, no. The only thing you would ever no. need stats for is like data analysis. Exactly. And a, a mul there's like three people in our math class right now that want to become like forensic people. Mm -hmm. So like, <laughs> do you have to take like? advanced math before calculus? Not really. Like, a lot of people a lot just of people get didn't put into calc. Yeah. They just get put into calc. Like, I'm going to take calc next year without taking advanced math. And you know what's I'm funny? Gonna... And I'm not taking no math next year because in college, I don't need a math. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm going into STEM, calc. so I need to do all the math. Wait, 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 what are you wait. doing? Wait. <laughs> well, we'll see, basically. But it's, it's got to be STEM because I refuse to do anything else, really. You should become, like, you look like a professor. Become a professor. No, I can't deal with that. Would math. Be, that would be fun. No, not math. Like I basically like I a... have to do STEM because anything else will require way too much essay writing for me to deal with. I will like, uh -huh. develop depression. Develop depression. Imagine our not, not, not already having that <laughs> anxiety <laughs> and ADHD. Mm -hmm. Imagine not already having that. I want to live your life. I probably have ADHD, but it hasn't been diagnosed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. I look at like the doctor's things when they give me like the report and I'm like, yeah, I don't remember having that. <laughs> it's like, do you do, they're problems? like, do you have depression? And I'm like, I don't think so. And then I see the thing and it says depression. And I'm like, I guess I do. So they give you like a t I don't know if they give it to everyone, but like people who like are already like diagnosed with something. Yeah, like like they, give, they give it like a seven, a yeah, seven like scale. On a rate of one to ten. Yeah, it's like, and how then many there's times like you felt happy this week. <laughs> <laughs> then there's like I, there was one in the beginning, not in the beginning of like when I started going, but like um like at the beginning of the appointment, like when you first get there, they give it to me, and it's like it's like um <clears throat> up to seven like you're something or not there, like mm -hmm. something with depression or whatever. Like a 16. I was because it's like it was like a number scale or like you know like a one to mm -hmm. five or something like that, and you had to add them up in the end, and mm -hmm. then whatever you got was it. I was like, my doctor, my mom, my doctor like had my mom leave the room or whatever. She was like, so we can talk about this. And I was like, 
<laughs> I remember because like, they had this like drug one that they had me do. They always make me do that one. And there's like, have you ever been in a car with somebody who is drunk or under the influence? Yes. Yeah. I always have to put yes because this one time I didn't know, and my friend's mom was drunk and driving me mm -hmm. somewhere. And then they always pull my mom out of there and they're like, oh, she said yes for this, and they have to explain it. And then one time they were like, there. Your scores were really high for the depression and anxiety evaluation, so we're going to see if we can get that. And yeah. Are your medications okay? I was like, yeah, they're fine. I mean, I didn't think they were okay. It's hilarious because, like, I've literally been, not prescribed, but, like, referred to, like, eight different therapy offices. My parents refused to take me because my dad didn't think mental illness is a real thing. Mm. And they don't want to put me on medication because they want to see if therapy helps first. And they don't think... They don't want to like go straight to medication because like they don't know how it's gonna react or whatever. Yeah, that's like, what my sister's speech is about. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna I mean, lie. I have happy moments with medication, but it's I mean, lucky. like right now, I I had like because I already take medication for like because I have blood pro blood pressure problems <laughs> and well I have cholesterol issues. Oh yeah. And then I have my sister does too. <laughs> I have. In regular heartbeat, mm. I have a very badass reflex, so I have to take medicine yeah, for that. So they're just like, mm, not yet, and I'm just like, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I have to get blood work done. I haven't done it. Yet. Hi, I just got mine done the other. So you can still see this dot. But yeah, I have to go to the cardiologist next month, so they had me get labs done. And my mom was like, my mom yelled at me because she was like, but it's her fault because she makes the food sometimes. Actually, it's kind of my fault, but whatever. But she was like, Layla. I was like, what? And like, cause she, there's like a MyChart app for like yeah, hospital yeah, stuff. It, yeah. yeah. And so like my results were on there. She was like, your cholesterol was like 500 above where it needed to be. I was That's like, how my sisters was. They were like, <laughs> I was right before they were like, you need to get blood work. I was, I put, I thought it would be funny to put salt in my ramen. So then I put a bunch of salt in my ramen and I ate it. I was like, this is disgusting, but I ate it because I was really hungry and I didn't have anything else because, I don't know, I, so I always just feel like, I don't know what I was doing. You were really frisky that day. Uh -huh. And then, yeah. Go you. The doctors were probably like, oh no, she needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> You guys, yeah. I feel like this is bad. I feel like we're talking about like sensitive stuff for this to actually be a podcast. It's not sensitive. I mean, <laughs> just just put a trigger warning in the beginning. Oh, just definitely. Trigger warning. My, my dad wrote a podcast once. Well, now she's gone. Yeah. 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 Who didn't get it? The Oscars for podcast. The Oscars. For podcast. It was the Andes. Oh. Okay. I was going to say, how are podcasts at the Oscars? <laughs> the Oscars are on Sunday. I know. I'm excited. The, uh, the Mitchells versus the Machines is up, right? I don't know. Did you even watch it? Nope. That, you should can guess that are getting on that. I watched it. And I don't think I really cared for it, but I'm going to watch it again. And mm -hmm. I'm going to say, because everyone, it won like so many decorations. Weird. Yeah. I hope when my mom and I get his Oscar, because then he'll get his thingy. For Encanto? Yes. But I don't know why they put up that one song instead of the other one. Surface pressure? No, they should have put, well, we don't talk about Bruno. But they were like, no, let's do that one sad one. Um, In Spanish. Dos Oruitas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two caterpillars? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was people. I'm pretty sure it's caterpillars because I watched it with English subtitles and that it was like translating the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, my dad wrote a podcast called Iowa Chapman and the Last Dog. It's they're calling it a an audio movie. He's under the you know. Do you remember? Did you ever listen to the podcast Six Minutes? I've never listened to any podcast. Oh well, in eighth grade, my English teacher made us listen to that every week. But anyway, 
apparently, I don't know what's happening with this podcast, but apparently, like, Amazon movies are going to make it a series or whatever, so that's cool. Um, my dad's just like, I don't know, he does things on the side all the time, and then he, like, tells me about them, and I go, okay. The thing about your dad is, like, he seems to know just everything about everything. He is so, yeah. Because I feel like, I feel like he's always, like, bringing this stuff into Bible, and I'm like, he could be a teacher for, like, almost anything. He used to be an English teacher. And then he And now he can just creative writing. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think he might have been a history teacher for a while. He's not that good at math, though. Well, he is now, but he was homeschooled. Except for college. Did he ever tell you guys how he lied about being in college to get with my mom? No. At this point is where I have to start redubbing that other person who came in. So, yeah. Um, be, be, have your eyes on the screen so you can tell uh, what it says, basically. Someone asked him a question, and I don't know what his answer was, but... You, you know what we've been talking about? Oh, the love words. Oh, we said that. You know how he kept giving examples? Well, he gave us this one example. He said something like, when, we were, when I was first dating my wife or something. Yes, and it was just, um, it was a TMI question. I know one of his students used me as a reason that my dad's had sex at one point. Yeah. What? You were a reason? Well, like evidence. Oh, evidence. One of the students was like, well, have you ever had sex? And then one of the kids was like, her name is Dea. And I was like, that's apparently that happened. Why would you ask your teacher that? Like, obviously, if he has kids, he has. No, but they asked him, like, they asked him top or bottom. Oh, well, they it, did ask. He it, told me about that. Was it a junior or a senior? What was his answer? Uh, about the I don't want to know, but also I want to know, like, h- how did he answer? He was like, you know, this is a Bible class, so there are some things about my relationship with my wife that I can't drive it. <laughs> and that's what he said. My dad said that he likes that his students feel comfortable enough to ask him those kinds of questions. Because, I mean, you wouldn't ask Pastor Sweet that. You wouldn't ask him anything. No, you don't have a chance, because he just talks no, the whole no, damn time. he really does. No, Pastor Sweet told us a story this one time last year about how he's like, I don't like how in the summer women wear all these short shorts that they shouldn't be wearing because then you look over and everything's just hanging all out and I'm like, oh my gosh, please stop talking. And he's like, this is his exact words. He said, you look over and everything's just jingling everywhere and bouncing everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he said he had to take a whole different route home. Yeah, he, I said, remember he said he said God was trying to tempt me into like looking at all these. He said he got binoculars. He said he had binoculars with a view. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. He said he, we were talking about sins and he was like right And he was like, I'm a bit of a glutton, guys. I'm 40 pounds overweight. I mean, yeah, it's all right there. Like, it's more like 40. Yeah, I was like, yeah, 20. He always sits on the desk. He has to, like, chair. When I was in his class, he always walked all the way around the room, and my neck got a freaking workout when trying to follow him. <laughs> I just fall asleep in his class. I tried falling asleep in his class so many times that I literally was on the verge of I know. It it's never so happened, hard to though. Stay awake. You'd be like, about taking uh, a step off feet. What are you talking about? You, you tune in and out, and he'll, he'll just, just like, homosexuality. And then he'll be like, um, and then you start listening, and it's like, wait, this is the last thing I want to hear. It's like, and then he'll be like, uh, it was on there, the parking lot. Like, he'll just say things. He goes on about his do-nows for like half the period, and then he's like, oh, we ran out of time. I wonder why. <laughs> this is where the, he's like, this is where the word comes in the Bible, and this is the origin. And then he'll go on some rant about something and then so, he will bring up. Oh, damn it. Okay. So yeah, that's the end of that podcast thing. It's I know it's it was that was pretty stupid, but you know we we talked about depression and we shit talked our terrible Bible teacher from 
two years ago, so I figured, you know what, that's topics worth putting on YouTube, so why not? I hope it was not too awkward with the redubbing stuff, and yeah, new videos coming out soon, see you for that.